Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch the video. Much appreciated. And today I'm going to start a series of videos uh, that's probably going to run over the next, uh, man, three or four weeks probably. I'm going to go over every jerk bait that Mega Bass makes and sort of give you guys a little seminar on every single jerk bait as far as, you know, when I like to fish it, the applications for it. Uh, tell you a little bit about the bait, what it's what it's intended use is for, and uh, doing all this in sort of preparation for uh, jerk bait season that's basically getting upon us here pretty quick. I mean, I really consider some of the prime jerk bait fishing, um, and when I'm talking about prime jerk bait fishing, I'm talking about when these fish get into the the more cold water patterns where they they suspend in the traditional manner that jerk bait fishing is used. So, in my uh, estimation that time frame is sort of like between November to uh, early April that type of stuff so uh, it's gonna you know this series that I'm doing hopefully to get you guys prepared for jerkbait season coming in so there's a lot of different jerkbaits to cover so we're gonna take uh, one at a time here I'll probably you know try to do a video on one maybe every other day that type of stuff and uh, uh, today's video is going to be just on the flagship model jerkbait that they make is the Mega Bass Vision 110. And um, anyway, on these all these jerkbait guys, if you guys are interested in ordering any of them after I talk about them, um, you can get them online at the Baitworks Tackle Store here in Springfield, Missouri, in the, in the physical store, or you can order them online. I'll include the Baitworks link in the description, and if you use that link, it's a good way to help support the channel here. Okay, let's talk about the Mega Bass Vision 110, the most, uh, by far the most famous jerk bait that Mega Bass makes. A um, little bit of history about this thing. Um, I helped design this bait back in the late 1990s. Um, at the time, I'd been with Mega Bass since uh, the early 1990s, and they they were growing slowly as far as their product line. There still wasn't um, a big presence in the United States market back in the 90s. And uh, at the time, they had several different crankbaits, some spinner baits. They were coming out with rods, that type of stuff. But they didn't have a jerk bait back then. So we were wanting to, or they were wanting to get a jerk bait in there. And they knew that being from the Ozarks, that I was a, a big jerk bait angler. So um, we spent about a six to eight month period. Uh, you know, I was basically sending them a lot of the custom made jerk baits that I was using. We you know, went back and forth on what I really felt we needed to come out with, with a jerk bait. And this back and forth process and uh, in, co in correlation with the design expertise of Yuki Ito, the owner of Mega Bass and also chief designer, um, came up with this model, the Mega Bass Vision 110 out of all those efforts there. Um, so anyway, the 110, uh, one of the things, there's a couple of different things that makes this bait really unique and the reason why it works so good. Most all of it is centered around the attention to detail and the components that are used in this particular bait. And that's why this bait is a little bit pricey, simply because of the components. If everything from like the split rings, the hooks, um, the paint, the finishes on there, the bills, um, the internal balancing systems. This is the Mega Bass Vision 110 is the first jerk bait that ever had an actual internal balancing system on there that was. Um, you can hear the, the balancers move back and forth in a little bit. But this particular internal balancing system not only weights the bait, but the transfer system allows the bait to cast a lot better and, and allows it, you know, partially to get the action that the bait has. So from that standpoint, every one of these components cost a tremendous amount more than what the traditional cheaper jerk baits were. And back then, the the standard jerk bait um, in the United States was the Smithwick Rogue <coughs> and maybe the Bomber Long A <coughs> a little bit. And the uh, Smithwick Rogue was the one that I used prior to the invention of the Mega Bass models. And Smithwick Rogue is a fish catching bait, still is, but the problem with the Rogue, especially back then in the 90s, is the quality control on those baits were extremely poor. And it most, probably 90% of the time when you bought one, they would run crooked out of the package. Some of the baits, when you tuned them, you could get them to run right. Some of them, you just never could get them to run right. You had to throw them away. So there's a lot of inconsistency simply because the components weren't the quality of the Mega Bass. So the Mega Bass was one of the first jerk baits ever made that ran perfectly true out of the package 
Um, very seldom do you, you ever have to adjust these. Occasionally you might have to, but very seldom. Um, and to me, one of the, the coolest things about the Vision 110 is how many different color options it comes in. I mean, this bait comes in uh, 150 different colors. And I've been to Hamamatsu City, Japan. I've, I've been to the Mega Bass factory several times and I've seen the process that they go through on the painting. And it's a tremendous multi-step process that you go through on this thing to get the finishes that you do. And since a jerk bait is probably the one of the, it's the biggest sight oriented bait that you have, the finishes and the colors that you have is extremely critical to matching the water clarity, sky conditions, wind, a variety of conditions like that. So that's another reason the Mega Bass is so effective. It simply comes in so many different color options that you can match, uh, match it to about any situation you're in. And for so many years, most all jerk baits like the Rogues, it came in just a handful of colors. You had a chrome side blue back, you had a chrome side black back, you had a gold side back, black back with an orange belly and not many other options uh, beyond that. <coughs> but the Mega Bass comes in not only flat finishes like this, clear finishes and metallic finishes. So when do you want to fish the Mega Bass? Vision 110. This, you can't go wrong. It, it'll catch fish under a, about every condition that you can imagine. When it comes to versatility and being able to fish a diverse amount and kinds of water, there's not another jerk bait that Mega Bass makes that is as versatile as a Mega Bass 110. And like I said, there's a bunch of other jerk baits we're going to cover they make. <coughs> Excuse me, still hadn't got all these allergies yet. But the Vision 110 is definitely the most versatile. I've caught bass in this thing in 90 degree water, six inches of visibility, and I've caught them in um, 36 degree water in 20 foot of visibility and everything in between on there with that. So um, one of the big things you'll notice about the Vision 110 on there is um, how finely tuned it is because the hooks on the, the stock hooks on the 110 are very light. These Mega Bass Outbarb hooks on there are extremely light. And if you put bigger hooks on the Mega Bass 110, it is designed so finely that um, a lot of times the bait will sink a little bit. This bait is designed out of the factory with these hooks to have extremely slow rise on there, which you want because that slow rise gives the ability to weight the bait to either give it neutral buoyance or to sink it slow. Um, but so it's, it's not like the, the old rogues that just basically were like a cork and you had to weight them heavily. These things are finely tuned out there. But the big thing that I wanted to cover on the, the Mega Bass Vision 110 guys, as far as, um, it's overall characteristic and when you want to use it, it is the most versatile jerk bait out there. There's not a situation where it won't work. There are some other jerk baits that Mega Bass makes that are more effective under certain conditions that we'll get into as far as water clarities and species of fish, water temperatures, that type of stuff. But the Mega Bass Vision 110 is literally a 12 month out of the year jerk bait in every condition that you can have. You cannot go wrong with it. The size of the thing, the profile, the action um, makes it where a lot of people, this is the only jerk bait that they have that Mega Bass makes. That they, even though jerk bait, Mega Bass makes a dozen or more different jerk baits, this is the only one people fish all the time, which you can't go wrong with that. So anyway, that's just a little bit of history about the Mega Bass Vision 110. Um, uh, there's other parts of this. We got the 110 Silent uh, 110. Um, you know, you got different models of it. We're going to go over every one of them individually, and I'll tell you sort of when I fish it and how I fish it. But that's it for today, guys. Mega Bass the original Vision 110, um, arguably the uh, number one uh, jerk bait in the United States and has been for a long time. And um, most every serious angler I know has them in their box, even if uh, they have to buy them and they, they're sponsored by other companies. So anyway, we'll, we'll be back in the next day or two. And uh, the next one I'll probably cover, we'll probably uh, get into uh, the silent model. I'll explain the difference between the 110 silent model and the 110 uh, original model and let you guys know a little bit about when I fish those. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. We'll see you guys later.